Let's do it. All right, so here at the 12 o'clock position, uh, bearing the tag team SCV life, that is Symbol spawning as our purple, uh, I'm sorry, Zerg player. At the 3 o'clock position, there's no Protoss here. His opponent, yeah, actually a lot of Zergs tonight. Uh, his opponent here at the 3 o'clock position, that is FXO's QXC. He is our blue Terran, and odd not seeing QXC donning his normal purple. That was taken by Symbol. Hmm, maybe he's not donning his Jedi cloak today either. You've probably heard of him, though. Oh, yeah? Have I? Yeah. QXC? Probably heard of him. Probably. Anyway, so um, we are close positions by air on Metalopolis, and this is, of course, a map that a lot of Terran players are QQing about. Blizzard enough so that they actually took it out of the ladder. People calling this wildly Zerg Imba. Well, it's only Imba. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say it's Imba. I mean, it's it's definitely not easy for Zerg if there's close spawn enabled, but of course most tournaments don't have close spawn, so... Uh, with that in mind, I don't think it's that bad for, for Zerg versus Terran. Definitely the, one of the maps that Zerg favors, though, uh -huh. against Terran. So oh, certainly. We'll, let's see what happens in this game. And QXC does find the Overlord, so he knows yeah. right where his opponent is at. And uh, let's see here, building barracks number one mm. in a uh, little bit more unconventional position. It's going to make it harder to throw down an add-on in a bit. We'll see if he completes the wall with the Supply Depot, or if that's going to be another Rax here in a second. As he is... Oh, yeah, I mean, if he's bypassing gas right now... We are going to see a second Rax. Oh, Maka Rax. Yep, down here over a little bit farther south. Yeah, I like the position of that second barracks too because that's going to make it very hard for any Lings or any Overlords to scout. In fact, Lings aren't even going to come into play. So the Overlord is not even going to risk going over that first barracks to find the second barracks. And so QXC is going to have an opening here to do a lot of damage. But, you know, most Zerg players nowadays are trained to deal with the two barracks opening. Um, and even though Symbol has opened up with the 15 hatch and the 15 pool, I think he should be able to defend against this as long as he pulls his drones off, uses them wisely, and uses his links correctly as well. Yeah, but uh, it's going to come down to that good control like you were talking about right there, uh, because QXC certainly has the potential to do some damage. SCV making its way out, and that spawning pool... <laughs> BJ's. So 35 seconds away from... Oh, yeah, exactly. Hold on. Let me actually uncontrol shift f him. Take a look at the fine establishments that BJ's are Clam here. Shack. Yes. Wow. The finest clams in the city. Odd position on top of a structure, but nonetheless, SCV makes its way in. All right. Well, SCV has made its way in after taking a quick pit stop at BJ's Clam Shack. Let's see if he's juiced up now to build a bunker. He is going to join up with his buddy. And there is a bunker coming down with the Marine out there as Great well. Position. Bunch of drones getting pulled off the mineral line here for Symbol. And maybe Symbol overreacting a little bit. Oh, wow. But there's two bunkers coming Traps up. Traps the Marine in. Yeah, that does trap the Marine in, which keeps it safe, actually. That's really smart. He's going to be able to hop the Marine inside the bunker once it's done. Yeah, certainly. Bunker's only got another 15 seconds before it comes out. And this position right here means there's very little surface area. Oh, my God. That's this is so available. crazy. Yeah, this is really, really aggressive, though. There's only four. Four lings out, another six lings, and two spine, spine crawlers, crawlers are coming out, and bunker number one is already finished. Here's the danger, though. That bunker is in range of the ramp, so it can snipe units as they're flooding down from the main of the natural, and that makes the ling reinforcements much, much weaker. It looks like Symbol has to deflect these marines right now, right here, but oh my god, QXC is so intelligent, pushing those lings away, and then going right back to work on that hatchery. Now the third bunker is up. He's leapfrogged his way into the range of the hatchery, and the spine crawler has to uproot and get close in range to deal with the bunkers. And the SCVs are making their way out and actually starting to attack wow. a few drones. SCV's got to get themselves back home and they will. There we go. That spine crawler on the uh, he has very enough outside SCVs range. to repair the bunkers. And he's just going to do it over and over and over again. And this hatch this is hatchery could dead. go down. This could be bad. I don't know why Sim oh, what Symbol's doing. Symbol, could he get a get He's going to get two of the Marines oh, out. That's, that's huge. That's really big. And he may have enough links to finish off this bunker. Oh my god. Symbol's taking so much damage, but at the same time, I think he's going to be able to break the bunker and there it goes. But all oh, the Marines hopping into the second bunker. Bunker. Beautiful yep. play by QXC. Indeed. And it looks like he's going to have to pop out now and start picking away at these spine crawlers. And if Symbol saves this hatchery, uh, it doesn't put him in a great position. Don't get me wrong. He's had overcommit to Lings. He's already lost a couple of drones. He hasn't been droning up through the entire process. Mm -hmm. QXC is at a big advantage. Yeah. But he uh, keeping that hatch alive is critical for his survival. Yeah, he has to keep the hatchery alive right now. He, there's no two ways about that. Um, but he has sustained a lot of damage. And if we look at the supply tab, you can see that QXC is favoring a six supply supply advantage over Symbol. No doubt he's building a command center back at home as well. Yes, he is. So he's going to be looking to expand after these bunkers finally break down. Um, 
but what? I mean, Symbol has already taken so much damage from QXC. Yeah, certainly. It looks like he's going to poke away at the uh, bunker now. His SUVs are coming back to do a little bit of a repair, but I would assume the spine crawler can start can't attacking. see the Marine? Now he can. Oh there it goes. Goodness. Okay, and the Marine's going to go down. Yep. And a few more Marines are coming out now to start damaging these units, but QXC is not really going to get much more damage done, mm -hmm. and this uh, hatcher has already started reaccumulating oh. HP. The spine color is getting focused on by a couple Marines, but that is not going to be enough to take it down. Unless QXC unloads his bunker and brings all of his Marines out, but then that leaves his uh, his position vulnerable to the links that are, could run out from the main. Uh, it looks like that bunker is still getting repaired there. Very interesting. That's actually losing minerals for QXC over time because he's not really attacking anything. So I don't know if he wants to keep repairing this forever. No, I, I agree with you. Um, looks like link speed is coming up, though, and we'll assume we're going to see plus one weapons here in a second with the evolution chamber that's coming up. So Symbol is starting to start to find his rhythm again. He is pretty far behind in economy as QXC sitting down his next command center and going to a third and going into double factory after that. Wow, he's getting that macro CC really, really quickly. So QXC is just going to be miles ahead of Symbol at this point. And I love the position of that Marine as well. This is the time when Symbol would be getting the third expansion, but that Marine will look to deny that. And I kind of see where QXC is going with this now. I mean, yes, he's losing minerals over time repairing this, but all of this is keeping Symbol inside the base allowing QXC to safely get that macro CC up and get the natural down. And looks like that, I'm not sure what came out there that was actually came under fire for a while, whether it was a larvae or whether it was something hatching. And here we go. Ooh, a couple of links fall, and it looks like, ooh, is he just going to swing around yeah, and counterattack? Why, why has he, he done is. this earlier? He should have done this so much sooner. Well, he would have had to run by almost two full bunkers with just a couple of links, maybe decide it wasn't worth it. This <laughs> SCP says, oh, oh, wait a second. Mm. I think I need to make my way back home. And QXC, if he doesn't defend here oh or doesn't goodness. get enough uh, damage on these links, but it looks like he will oh, be able to take them no. down and even save his bunker in the process. Yes, he will. Oh my goodness. None of those links are going to be able to make their way into that QXC's base. That was a bad attack for Symbol. He didn't do any damage at all. No. Now he left himself vulnerable at the front door. I mean, those Marines could have decided to go for a run in, into the main if they wanted to, but nope. QXC playing very safe, and Symbol is falling further and further behind in this game. The next step for the Terran Harass here is going to be Blue Flame Hellions after the Marine Bunker attack, yeah. and Symbol's not going to have much of an answer to that at all. And nope, because he's going to have nothing Dude, but links on the cats. field, so... That What's up, man? Bunker has been there for 10 minutes now. <laughs> it's finally starting to creep into a little bit less than half health. Dude, it's been there for 10 minutes and 20 yeah, seconds. It really has. We got Blue Flame Hellions. It could stay now. there for even longer. Yeah. It might not even go down. <laughs> <laughs> the oh Hellions are going to make their way around. Don't run into the... Yeah, I okay, think he's going to go for a run by. run by. Oh, that could be bad for QXC. QXC going to lose one of his Hellions. Yeah, it kills quite a few uh, quite a few links, though. Looks yeah. like the SUVs are coming back to repair. So a couple more are up now because this bunker actually just went way up in health because the attention of the spine crawlers was on the Hellions there for a second. Yeah. That's actually hysterical. Yeah, uh, well, he may have the SUVs on auto repair at this point. Um... So it doesn't really matter if the bunker spikes in HP and maxes out. The SUVs will always be there repairing. QXC now nice coming around the side. Placement. I love the spine crawler placement. Not only deflecting the Hellions, but also preventing them from running behind the mineral line. And that bunker is still being repaired. Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is insane. This is what is Min, what is Min doing? What is Symbol doing? Oh, he's got a Spire coming up. So he's going to try to go into Mutalisks. I like that. He, we haven't seen that much Marine production. We've only seen Hellions so far. So Mutas would be a great response now. But oh, there's Blue Flames that have dropped inside the main. Or at least Marines. And it looks like they were deflected pretty quickly. Yep, certainly. Uh, there, we have a spire up, a spire, a spire. And only two mutas. Um, he he is supply oh, he's supply blocked so I was about to bad. say, he has plenty of larvae, but oh, now he has no. to make four mutas. Symbol. And um, let's see, did QXC actually see the spire? No, no, he didn't. So I think he can safely assume that there's something fishy going on. He's got the engineering bay. And, you know, he's not putting any turrets, but... He should know this. Mutas are a possibility. Yeah, certainly. But God, he supply blocked himself so badly. Yeah. And this bunker is still there! <laughs> That's so funny. Now oh. the Queen's coming to kill off the bunker as well. Are they targeting the, the SCVs or the bunker? Uh, looks like they're targeting the bunker now. Oh. Cute little scan on the high ground would uh, take out some SCVs or some Queens pretty quickly. But we have a big attack of Marines coming out now. Oh my god, yeah, the Marines are coming out. A couple of Mutas are going to see this movement, but they have revealed the Mutalist tech switch, so now the turrets are coming up inside the main of QXC. QXC is still fortifying this position. He killed off a queen, that's huge. One of the queens going down, and now tanks coming to siege up, and this could be it for Symbol. Symbol, not destroying this Terran fortification early on in this game, has compounded his issues in the late game. This is one of the most effective um, contains that I have probably ever, ever seen. seen. Yeah. I mean, that was just... 
disgustingly good against yeah. a very, very good player nonetheless. And this is actually what turned into Lair to give it a little extra HP. And now it's going to oh, fall. Oh, look at all Mutas, the Mutas. Yeah, Mutas uh, come in, but there are a few Marines that go ahead and hold those at bay. And even if QSC takes a little bit of losses right now, it's okay. He can he can actually he can afford that. That's no problem. He's going to lose the Lair. Yeah, oh it's going to go down here in just a second. Yeah, yeah. the Lair is going to go down. That's huge. And Mutas unable to, to do enough damage inside the main. The only thing they're really doing is denying reinforcements wow, from joining that fortification. Center. And the hatchery, the lair, excuse me, at the, at the natural has gone down. Drones scurrying away over to the main to salvage whatever they can. But this is getting out of control for Symbol. A one base Zerg versus a three base Terran. Award given to that bunker right there. And those right SCVs who went above and beyond the call of duty and uh, protected their brethren quite Not well. turrets coming up as well. Oh yeah, QXC God. expanding to the gold at the same time. Abusing mules off of a third orbital command. It could even put down a couple of scans as well. Muto's going to counterattack, and if they find the gold, they are going to see the gold. QXC. Yep, that is actually going to force the Marines to pull away. So, uh, nice little pickup for Symbol, but this is not enough, man. No. It's not enough at all. Now we have Armory coming down, so Thor is no doubt going to be joining the fray pretty soon. Finally, Stim Pack finishing up. Hooray! Those Marines haven't had Stim for the longest time. Who needs Stim when you've got bunkers, though? No. Um, no QXC has played one of the best methodical games that I've ever seen, though. Symbol, I mean, this is just fantastic. Yeah, but Symbol, I feel like, played such a. I don't know, man. He really should have broke those bunkers earlier on. Should have committed Lings to destroying that, but... The Ling counterattack that you said should have come earlier. Yeah, I mean, he should have swung a couple Lings around to the natural of the Terran yeah. and did some damage. I, I am in total and complete agreement. Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, is there an armory down? Oh, my yeah, God, so those we can get a Thor Mutas. here in a second. Mutas are going to try and pick off a reactor. They may do so. That is not bad. delaying the inevitable. That's yeah. the word I was looking for there. We have so. a sensor tower that's been placed up at Camp... Yeah, we What do we want to call this? Camp what? <laughs> Camp Bunkerville? Camp Bunkerville? <laughs> wow, a sensor tower being placed up now just to add insult to injury. Uh, Symbol is just sticking in here with one... I mean, I think he's gearing up for one big bus and hoping he can play out of this, but he is um, not going to be able to do that. <laughs> no, not at all. Plus two weapons coming up along with plus one armor. And those mutas pick off the vision SCV that was sitting up there. Thor is he shall coming. not have died in vain. A couple of siege tanks. Thor Don't really have coming. anywhere to go. Not sure Thor why the rally coming. point is there. Yes, Thor indeed. Is Thor is coming. Mutalists are going down to the south here to pick off the potential third once again, which uh -huh. I kind of like. But uh, what is he going to do about this position? I mean, <laughs> a Terran position exponentially gets more and more difficult to break if you leave it alone. As we can see from this game. Yeah, QXC is like, fine, whatever. I'll play a 20. If you don't want a GG right now, I'll play a 25-minute macro game where I'll starve you out of one base and whatever. He's it just doesn't matter. He's setting up the freaking embargo right now, yeah, man. Yeah, really Trade <laughs> sanctions over Symbol. <laughs> this is starving Symbol out. All the citizens are starving to death. What is Symbol going to do? Um, oh, is he Nidusing? He is Nidusing. That's what I thought. Hooray! All right, so this is his last hurrah. Where's he going to Nidus, though? QT has too good a vision everywhere. I know. Well, maybe he can find an opening at that little edge right there. Or maybe he'll just drop it down here, the six or something like that. I no. really don't. This is his last hope. I mean, the Nidus is it. And if he can't make anything happen out of this, then that's going to be game. Yep. And uh, Although, the one thing that Symbol does have going for him is all the forces now are running away from the natural to join the reinforcements at the... Uh, cho at the camp Bunkerville right here. Right. So actually, Nidus could do a lot of damage, and and if he floods in, he can kill all the production there facilities of QXC. Swarm. Yeah, it's I coming up. I don't know where it's at. It looks like it's coming up right yes. here. Yes. All right, so he is going to go for the massive flood here, and he's going to go for the base race. And uh, I think that is going to favor QXC because of how few structures are actually up now for symbol. But here we go. Units will be loading up inside. He's of not the loading up. Just a second. There oh, we go. Okay, there we are. So here Just comes. A while. Here we go. So this is his last and only ditch hope. Can he do it? Is he gonna unload? No. In a second, QXC is no. retreating with some units. Does he yeah. think something? This is giving QXC uh -oh. time to retreat. This is giving QXC time to react. QXC is gonna no doubt. Uh, he can either attack Probably here just from the push. camp. Yeah, he can attack yeah. from the camp, or he can fall back all of his forces. I don't know what he's gonna do, but this is it. Can Sybil bust this out? This will be, yeah, be, be a miracle. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. I was trying to be as po thorough as positive a spin as I could on it, but that's going to be rough. QXC making his way up, picking off spine crawlers one by one. No problem, yo. And the mutalisks and big wave oh, of Zerg are. are coming out. Planetary Fortress was appearing here at the front as well. Nice little wall went down. Oh, my goodness. Thor already that's taking crazy. a lot of the damage. And look at these Marines on the high ground. Everything dying. GG. Or symbol. That's it for symbol. Now for sure he's going to GG.
I would hope. Or not. Looks like tower defense there more than anything else for QXC there. I love the siege tank on the ramp as well. That's just making it damn near impossible for the lings and blings to run up. QXC making his way up. Queen that on the high ground. Spire is melting. Look at the spire. It's about to tilt oh, over. Uh, more units coming up. We're just waiting for the inevitable now, folks. QXC has indeed won this game and convincingly. Apparently like, not yeah. to Symbol. Symbol's not convinced he's lost yet. He's coming in for another flank of units. Blings and blings, but oh, it's a PF, PF there. Boom. Oh, Boom. Man, that's a lot of kills on the PF already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 kills. And that's game. Yeah, that's GG. Wow. QXC takes game number one.